and welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. Today I am going to be preparing another canvas for an event that takes place in January and February. And the event is Alice in a Winter Wonderland and that is hosted by Life with Lindsay. And I am going to be completing Alice in the Winter Rabbit House. And on this one, I have had this kit for a really long time from Diamond Art Club. I purchased it in early 2021. And this is definitely an older kit, obviously. And I wanted to do something that was in my stash, but I've been wanting to do this one and just haven't. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to go ahead and do this kit. And the funny thing about it is that Looking back, it is just really um, fun to see how Diamond Art Club has really grown in such a short time. The actual stickers were not separated and I had to cut those apart and they were kind of hard to adhere. So I went ahead and did that first because that would have taken a long time. But I thought that was um, really you know, fun to see. I'm glad now that they do separate the stickers. So I wanted to go ahead and get this one started. And if you are interested in that particular event, I will put the information down below. I've got these in order. I went ahead and did that as well. I went ahead and separated all of the bags and put those in somewhat of an order. So that way that would save some time and it would also be helpful for me to find the bags and there's a lot of colors in this one let's see I'm on 317 there's a lot of colors there's a lot of bags this is a 56 by 74 centimeter and I am using the small containers that are attached I probably should have thought about using my Elizabeth Wards, but I didn't. The ones that do not fit in here, I am going to I'm going to wait and see how many of the cube storage I have left and either put those in additional storage. I don't have that many on here. I want to see what I've got. And then I will just put these in bags and keep them together, which is fine. I did buy a couple more Elizabeth Ward um, storage containers. I want to use those for my heaven and earth cross stitch conversion. And I am making some revisions on that one. And so you will see that update. I'm not sure when, because I'm still working on how I'm going to do it, but you will see those, you'll see that in the next week or so. I'm not sure when this is coming out either. These are going to be such pretty colors. And it looks like on this kit that there is quite a bit of color blocking, so that should save some time as well. And since this event is going to be over two months. I should not have a problem whatsoever of getting this one finished along with my other ones. I just, let's see, along with my other ones that I'm working on in my work in progress, I really think I can get this one finished. It surely won't take me two months. Let's see, where did I put the 400s? I thought I had these in somewhat of an order. These are, um, let me see. Here they are. I'm looking backwards. Okay, so now I'm up to the 400s. There's a lot of grays in here. That's going to be for the background. I'm thinking. And there are, there's only two ABs in this kit. And I will definitely be adding some more. I've got kind of an idea of where I want to add my ABs. Not 100% sure yet. I got that one almost too full. I really like this storage system. Um, if you've watched any of my videos on Kitting Up or even on my Whippin' Tats, 
I use these quite often, and I'm not really sure why, because I don't know why I like them so much, but I do. They don't hold a lot, but I really like the way that these are. When I first bought them, I didn't think that I was going to like them at all. But I really do like this storage system. But nothing beats my Elizabeth Wards. I just, I love those. Got an extra 413. Put that bag over there. Extra 414. Okay. Now I'm at 415. I am going to be doing two kits in January. Two events. So that's going to be interesting to see if I get how much I can get done. I usually stick with only one event at a time. Or I try to, but I really liked the two events. I wanted to get the two completed. And I don't do it for, you know, a prize or anything like that. I just like to do it to be part of the community, to see what others do. And then it also helps me decide on what kits that I want to do. Because I have so many... That way, I, if I have a kit that goes with an event, it makes it really nice because then I know what I'm going to work on. I don't have to just think, well, maybe I can do this or I want to do this. So it kind of limits my options. And it's fun to join in an event. Now on the 500s. Let's see. I'm going to move these over here. Okay. Are you doing any events um, early part of the year, or do you know of any events you're going to do during the year? My goal is to have to complete at least three events, and so if I do both of those in January and get those completed, then that will be the two, and then I am hosting an event, the J Wall event that I will be hosting in April. I'll be co-hosting in April, so I'm gonna count that as an event because I'm obviously participating. So I think that will be a lot of fun. And then I know other events that I'm going to be doing, so I will go well over three. But I just wanted to keep my goal at three, just in case. But then sometimes I get wrapped up in events and I don't do what I need to be doing. And I just hit you, so sorry. Okay, let me see here, 597. Lately, I have been doing really bright colors with diamond painting, and it's just happened to work that way. It's not that I am looking for kits that, that are really bright and colorful, but it's gonna be kinda nice. I do want to do a winter kit I would like to between you know, January and March before spring hits, but I'm not really sure if I even have anything that's not like Christmas or holiday related that is winter. I've been going through my kits, getting them organized a little better, and it was fun because some of the ones that I've had for a long time I hadn't really looked at in a while. And so once I started getting my kits together and then looking at them, I even have them by artist. And it was really funny to see that I didn't realize that I had some that I had, you know, the same artist or illustrator. And I was just really surprised that I had chosen from you know, more than one on a particular artist. And I knew that I did for Josephine Wall. I love hers. And even though they're huge. And then I have a lot of Hannah Lynn's. I didn't realize how many Hannah Lynn's that I had. I mean, even though I have a spreadsheet, it's just funny to look and see. It kind of makes a difference when you're actually looking at your kits. And then Mandy Manzano's, I have quite a few of hers. So I plan on 
working on several between Hannah Lynn and Mandy Manzano's for the year and you'll see several of those at least I hope you will because I want to get some of those done and Mandy Manzano's tend to go fairly quickly for me and so does Hannah Lynn's and the funny thing about this kit and I probably shouldn't say this because I'm going to really jinx myself but all of my kits that I have purchased that are newer I have had a terrible time with static and so far I am on the DMC numbers 600s and I have not had any static so what's up with that I am not complaining I probably really shouldn't say anything but this is this has been so far really good experience of kitting this up because it's going faster. I don't have drills everywhere. I don't have drills all over my hands. And that's really important. I'm just putting this over to the side, as you can see. I'm trying to be really careful so I do not spill any of those. Um, let's see. Now I need 648. Watch my other sixes. I've got one on here that I don't see yet. It's stuck in another pile. Okay, I normally do not do this and have these laying around everywhere. I don't like that, but I know I'm going to need some baggies. Let's see, I'm looking for a missing one. Is that a six? I'll have to go back to this one. I don't know where I put it. Okay, here is 700s. And it is really nice that this is going so fast. It makes it so much more enjoyable when you are kitting up and also diamond painting and you do not have drills all over your hands, all over your table. It makes it so much easier and it goes so much faster. I just think it's very interesting that the older kits have so much static, or the older kits have less static or no static, and the newer kits are full of them. If you hear a weird noise, my dog is sound asleep and she is snoring like crazy. And sometimes we have to turn our TV up really loud because both of them will start snoring, both of our dogs, and you can't even hear anything. And then we turn the TV up and they start snoring louder. Let's see. Okay. This is really going so well. Let's see if I can get all these in here. I don't think I can. I have just a handful. That's okay. Okay, 728. I have a couple that are on here that I've spilled. Let's see. Put those over here. 728. And I don't think I mentioned, but this is a square kit. And I usually don't even look. If there's a kit that I really like, I go ahead and I get it then I look and say oh is this a round or is this a square but I am trying to be better with size of kits where is this one okay. I'm trying to be a lot better on the kits that I purchased for 2023 I'm looking at the size of the kits because when I started organizing, I realized how many large kits that I really have. And they just take so long. They're really pretty because they're so much larger. They're detailed. But yet, at the same time, there's a lot of work. Which is fine, but after a while, then I start getting a little bored or I want to have a finish. And then it goes into my work in progress. And then I end up having multiple work in progress. 
and I'm kind of trying to eliminate that as I get my larger ones completed. I kind of want to get down to one or two of my work in progress. And so that would be really nice if I could do that. I'm at 8.95. And this is another large bag too. I've gotten a couple of these out of order when I did the when I went ahead and put these in. Okay. We're getting closer. Nine oh. Here's 890. Since this kit has been around for a while, has anybody completed this one? I haven't even seen it completed. And I had a couple of other kits I could have done and decided that I really wanted to do this one, especially since it's an older kit. Let's see, let me go to the 900s now. These 900s, 900s, okay. 904. The one thing I do like about these, these containers is that you can see the colors and it's so pretty. I like being able to see all of my drills and it does help because I am now starting to diamond paint by DMC order and I hadn't done that before and I'm finding it that I really enjoy it. I was doing it um, by you know numbers first and then I had the alphabet and then I would end up having um, different symbols together but then I started to have my containers in DMC order and I really like that for some reason. Um, I also like the fact that when I go to kit down they're all in DMC order. It makes the kitting down process go faster. So that's really nice. But then sometimes if I can't see the colors very well, it takes me a while to find it. Okay, here is this one. This is a large bag too. All these are larger bags. And I don't mind having my bags in baggies. I just keep them folded over and then I put them in a big Ziploc bag. And that's probably what I'm gonna have to do with these because even though I have some containers left, I don't have enough for all of this. So I probably will just fold them all over and put them in my baggies that I use for kitting down. I stopped for just a few minutes to rearrange and also to put the excess ones in baggies because I don't like them just laying out like that. I usually do not do that. And so that's done. I want to rearrange a little bit and move the ones that I have left closer to me so I'm not reaching over. I'm hoping I can get all this in here. This is, uh, nope. Put this in here. I was hoping I have just, a, I hate to put just a little bit there in a baggie, but I'm going to have to because I don't want it so full that every time I open it that it's going to fall out. So that's okay. I'll just stick it in here and then put this in here so I know what color it is. And then I will label those later. Okay, let me get in back in order here. Nine... This one's a really pretty blue. There's not hardly any in here. And just glancing at the drills as I am pouring them into my container, I don't see any issues with these. And I hope that I have plenty because if I have to request for more drills or if I don't have that color and I have to contact Diamond Art Club, then I'm probably going to get new drills mixed in with the older drills. And I guess that's okay, but hopefully I will have enough drills. The older kits, I always had enough drills and plenty left over, 
But then as I started working on some of the newer kits, they seem to not have as many drills as the older kits gave you. And I have ran out on three kits lately. Not by much, and I had all but one color in my stash, so I was able to keep working, but it's kind of annoying when you want to finish a kit and you're missing some colors. I have to put these in the bag. I really do like these bags. It took me a while to find bags that I really liked for my spares. And so I use these for my spares as all, and also for my extras that don't fit in my containers. Instead of having two separate bags, I just use these and I can reuse them. So that makes it really nice. Okay, now I'm on the 3300s. There's a lot of upper colors on this kit. A lot of 3300s. I am getting closer to finishing this. 3778. But these aren't going to all fit in here either. Oh, I really should have used some larger containers. But I think this will go by fast enough to where I can, it won't be bad. I can easily have my container next to me and just keep adding whenever I need to, so it's all good. Let's see, 3787. not going to fit either and these are coming off that one I did not put washi on my containers first which is what I often do but I haven't had any problems with Diamond Art Club stickers to not want to come off and especially on the older kits it just comes right off I hadn't had any problems with them so hopefully I won't. I prefer not to use washi on my containers unless I just have to. And there are some kits that I know once I get them, I'm going to go ahead and put washi on there before the stickers because I know that they're going to stick. And then I am have to fuss with it trying to get them off. 3811. Okay, 3823, I am missing some of these, 3844, okay, where is 3371, 3799, okay, here we go. I am now down to the 3800s, and there's a pile of 3800s. 3861. This is another large bag. This kit may take me longer than I thought it was going to. It's a good size kit. It would have been nice to start the year off with something a little bit smaller, but I am also doing the Jeremiah Kettner, the Crystal Fox, and that one's a small kit. It's another one with bright colors, so that's kind of funny that I've chose both with bright colors, but that's okay. All right. Now 
we have had really nice weather for the past two days in Georgia. It's been in the 60s. The wind has been blowing, so it makes it feel a little bit colder, but at least it's not 18 like it was at Christmas. And my daughter said that she had the best weather right after Christmas than she has since they have been in South Dakota. Of course, they haven't been there for very long, her and her boyfriend, but they had weather that was actually in the 50s and she said the wind was not blowing like it has been and they have had really high winds and the winds were so bad at one point that she had a hard time walking to her car she said she couldn't even really walk straight and the wind was just whipping her all over the place so she was glad you know once she got into her car and the one thing that she told me that she didn't realize, and she was very grateful for that, is that her apartment complex actually has snow plows, and they keep the parking lot as clear as possible. And then they will ask you to move your cars if it's not, you know, really bad once the snow, you know, it's died down some they will um, ask you to move your car so they can complete the entire parking lot and just move it to the other side. And so that was nice because she was wondering, you know, how she was going to be able to get all the snow out from around her car and they actually do that for you. So that was really nice. And I don't know if other places do that. Um, I have no idea because we don't have this issue in the South and we've always lived in the south and she has too so i was just really curious whenever she told me that that they um, constantly have snow plows running and even the apartment complex has they either um, have their own snow plow which they're planning on purchasing or they have someone that they pay that comes around and does it she lives in a new complex and so they just really opened and they're trying to, you know, work things out on how the you know, complex is going to, to handle everything. And so, so far, she's really pleased with that part of it. Uh, is, I don't think this is going to fit in here. Yeah, they will. So she's feeling better about, a little better about living in South Dakota than she did. But they're hoping to stay there for just a couple of years and they want to move to North Carolina, which will be so much closer and the weather won't be nearly as bad as what she's dealing with right now. And then hopefully she will have finished school. She's doing um, her, she's finishing her schooling there the only thing that she has left is to finish the cl to complete classes in the actual program and the program that she really wanted is there and we didn't really have that here so she's going to hopefully get into radiology and then she'll finish that up and when she wants to move to North Carolina she will not have a problem at all finding a job in medical and here they have the program but the program is different it's not exactly what she wants to do it's more not doing the x-rays but it's more so just reading them and then handing the results over to a radiologist and that's really not what she wanted to do she wants to do the actual imaging So she's going to start that in the fall because the spring, number one, she couldn't get in in time. And with her moving, I told her she should wait and get used to that, get acclimated to the area and not just start school immediately. And give her a little bit of a break. She's been going to school for a while, but at least she has everything except for the program. So everything transferred over, so that was definitely good, especially when I am paying for 
her to go to school. Okay, this one is 3810. Oh, this is a really pretty blue. Move this over. I have two more and I have had no static whatsoever. What is up with that? I mean, I don't mind doing all of my older kits. If this is going to be the case, I have not had to fight any of these drills. I just find that really interesting. I keep all of my kits in the same place in my basement. And so I don't know if maybe just them sitting for so long that they don't have static. I don't think that would make a difference. But there is no static in here. And on my others, it is just a terrible buildup of static. So have you found that as well? Um, have you noticed that on some of your older kits that you don't have static, but the newer ones you've purchased that you do? I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I am happy. Okay, here are, this is a large one, has most of the ones in here. I'm just loving these colors. I mean, look how pretty this looks together. And this is why I don't mind using these. I love them so much because you can actually see through them. You can see all the pretty colors. It makes me happy while I am diamond painting. And then I have these three here. So I could put some of the other ones in here the excess and I might end up doing that, um, but I may just leave it like this. And then whenever I need to refill a container, I can just grab it and fill it. So I'll probably just end up doing it that way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for spending time with me today while I get another kit um, finished or kitted up. And if you have not subscribed, please click on that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. And that really um, helps me out a lot to get my videos out there. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.